What is that? That's the Godzilla oh Atomic God. Breath from Godzilla in the movie. <laughs> yeah, just like the movie. <laughs> Remember? Hi, Mamba. Huh, interesting. Is it pointing you in a different direction? No, it's still saying that I haven't done the one on there. What, it says zero out of two? No, it I says one, one, it's just... It's, the marker's still there. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, Here's... I'll get the- I'll get the other one then. Cause I'm seeing it- I'm seeing it too, that's why I'm like, wait a minute. It's- Yeah. It's probably the fucking- There's some edition. bullshit afoot. There's some bullshit afoot. Enhanced edition. Enhanced edition. Enhanced. Uh, next marker's up here. He's already done it. What? Marley, we gotta go. Oh, yeah, marker's- I hate- Mmm. Enhanced yeah. edition. Enhanced. <laughs> I am going to file a complaint. <laughs> Why is the enhanced edition worse than the actual game itself? Oh my god. That one was just user error. Let's let's call a spade a spade. Did that one was just Arsenal being a fucking dick. You drove through me. <laughs> enhanced. <laughs> You're still driving through me. Bumper cars. Like here, are you? Am I not getting into? Oh, fine. I have the footage. Yep. See, I'll drive right through you. I guess I'll I do hate that. Okay. All of these clap traps. You really hate all the clap traps? Yeah, they're mistakes. Oh man. Wow. That's a. That might be an unpopular opinion. This is the most unpopular opinion of all time. Oh, this is spooky. This is fine. Oh, wow. Oh, they moved. Maybe. Oh. Ugh. What the heck? Oh, yeah, that was all me. Well, that was interesting. Well, I mean, we can say just from this architecture that, uh, hey, there's some ancient... Demons, Jim, demons! But, you know, since our characters I... didn't react to, <laughs> you know, said thing, I mean, okay. <laughs> then the... I mean, if we all, if we want to talk about that, they're not ever mentioned again. Mm-hmm. And the rest, well, we haven't played the rest of the game. Hang on a second there. <laughs> what the hell am I sl I'm sliding oh, down. <laughs> My feet do not function. You have no grip. You need to change shoes. Get those dockers. I'm sorry, did you say get those dockers? Yes. Is the dockers God, you are an old geezer. My <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Let's get those dockers, guys. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you were getting shit on. <laughs> I literally only thought of a shoe brand, and all of a sudden, just like, you're old. You're old. <laughs> well, I mean, am I wrong? I don't know how old it is. Oh, I like, yeah, I want to pay attention to how old shoes are. I know, I brought up RE5, or RE5, RE4. RE4. Crass. Crass. Because we need something to talk about. <laughs> Sure, let's talk about anything other than Borderlands. Anything but this you... barren enhanced wasteland. <laughs> it's an apparent enhanced wasteland. So yes, I have been playing. I have been playing RE4, and probably by the time this video is out, 
<laughs> probably by the time System Shock is out, the uh, the remake video will be out. So yes, I played RE4. I haven't played or uh, RE4 remake rather. Um, He's played this game before. But I have not played Dead Space remake yet. Okay, to be played. fair, he asked us if it's okay if he he said that he was going to wait because he wanted to experience. I did ask that. Us, so like, that's true. I know. I don't remember. I, I'm not gonna. Know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shit on him for that. Yeah, he'll shit okay, on me how point. old I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, am I wrong? Pistols, pistols for days. Holy shit! I don't want a pistol. I believe. But they got shock damage. Mm. You may have my attention. You may have my attention. <laughs> what a fucking ego shit. <laughs> God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, nah, I don't want a pistol. Oh, you may have my attention. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I'm trying to help you and you're just shrugging me away. I taxi you around day in, day out. Palpatine, you're the Sith Lord. I should turn you into the Jedi Council, but what about your wife? You may have my attention. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess since we have an enhanced ver version of this game... <laughs> Hunter, what uh, what game would you like to see remade? It, as in, like, Resident Evil quality, not... This is, this is just basically a remaster. <laughs> Honestly? Jack and Dexter. Oh, yeah. I would wholeheartedly agree with that. God, like... When they announced the Ratchet and Clank re like remaster, or like when they like re-released it, it made me so sad. Because I'm like, okay, they're cool and all, but I know like two people who are a lot cooler. <laughs> I haven't played. To, to be fair, I only played the first one, so probably my my opinion's not, you know. Uh, I there. also only played the first one because I didn't own a console as a child. See, uh, <laughs> I played all of them. <laughs> Well, I uh, hope they continue to be good, because the first one was really good. <laughs> let me let me tell you, the theme changes. Oh, I'm sure it does. Oh, it, it changes. And I mean, it changes. Okay, so, Marley, besides System Shock being remade, mm -hmm. what game would you like to see remade? I don't see a reason for Kingdom Hearts to be remade, but um, I would say Sly Cooper. Yeah! I also only played that the first one of that. Or wait, no, it was the Honor Among Thieves one, which is yeah. the second one. Honor Among Thieves is my favorite. Uh, Band of Thieves is all right. Um, I remember uh, my mom first got me Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus uh, like on an Easter holiday, and then I don't know where it went, but it like disappeared in the transference from the hotel to like one of the places we were staying for Easter Sunday. Mm -hmm really sad because <laughs> I finally got a game that I really wanted to play and then it just disappeared yeah um I know a game that I would like to see remade but uh it won't happen which one <laughs> Conker's Bad Fur Day oh. Conker's Bad Fur Day let's go yeah <laughs> that would be amazing but they won't do it alright what was the game that was remade but no one asked for off the top of your head that you definitely did not want to see. Or like a series that was brought back. I was going to say Andromeda. Mass Effect. Because oh. <laughs> man, I do not like Mass Effect 3 in a lot of ways. Alright. Remakes, I don't have anything, but uh, bringing another character back to life? Bubsy. <laughs> they didn't have to. Just because of fucking dealerships and money and cash crabs. Yeah. But they just brought Bubsy back for no fucking reason other than to have him back. That game really wasn't popular, was it? No! There's a lot of clap traps here. It's probably the only place they feel safe. Maybe. But I mean... Well, the bandits they're one wanted... of the oldest... The, well... It's not just the bandits, it's that they're one of the oldest uh, uh, robot systems in Hyperion. So, um, I think they're trying to upgrade the Hyperion systems and lap traps and desolated. Oh, so you mean, so, so what you can gather from is that they're obsolete tech and they're being replaced. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I mean, it is, gets a little bit obvious about that as you, you know, get into two. 
not just two, but like pre sequel also gives a very solid explanation. Well, pre sequel unfortunately came a lot later. I guess that's a good question I should ask. Are we asking? Are we playing the pre sequel first or two first? Uh, well, we're we're gonna play it in the time that they released, so two will be next. Okay. Yeah, that would make sense. What's this? TK's door is open. Oh. Is he dead? He's possibly dead. Oh my god. Yeah, he's in there. Oh, he's I just, see. Yep, he's just hanging around. Oh. oh, I thought you shot him. I was gonna say, what the fuck? Well, I mean, let's see. Nope. So that's TK's story. Was any, Did anybody, did anybody miss him? What was that? So TK's gone now. Did anybody miss him? He's he had a story. I mean, he had a little bit of a story, I guess. I fi I knew I figured out he was blind and he lost his leg to a giant skag. Yep. Uh, he also that's... showed us the ropes here on Pandora. Yeah. Could he even see the ropes? Does he need to see the ropes? I thought he so. heard us run up to him and then held a gun at us and laughed about it. <laughs> what memories? <laughs> Music still cutting in and out. <laughs> oh my god, it's King Wee Wee. Is he holding what I think he's holding? Uh, yes. Sir, I need them. Bye. Is he stuck? He might be. He sure is. Nice. Ah, uh oh. Hi, Marley. Hi. Um, how are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Oh, uh, I'm just peachy. That's good. And that is where Mordecai soon found out these two were gonna be dating. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> So that happened. Mm -hmm. I missed it. <laughs> Apparently um, it wasn't important because it didn't broadcast. No, because it was just Claptrap being like, I am the best robot. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I missed it. He's just spinning in circles and pressing So this buttons. is another one of those moments where we see Arthnal, Arthnal, Arthnal. What the fuck? I don't know. I have realized that when we were picking up a couple of the quests that it's not you know, chat heavy as some of the games. This game is very uh, read the quest heavy. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're yep. missing story by way of not reading them. Would you like me to read it then? Yes. That probably would be okay. a good idea. I'll read this one then. Well, Scooter, he asked only... somebody... What? I was saying we should only read the main story quest once, probably. The, the story quests? Trisha Tannis, Chief Scientific Advisor, Doll Corporation, Day 224. The only conversations I have anymore are with this echo recorder. I've developed a relationship with it. Some cycles I sleep with it, and others I make it stay outside of my tent. My waning ability to discern logic from insanity is becoming cumbersome. I've been translating Aridan writings in between arguing with the recorder off for a few hours during my last sleep cycle, I heard you sneak out. If I were to pontificate, I would infer that the Aridan writings show a class-based society that was quite capable of both leadership and of armed conflict. I work, I spend the majority of days having conversations with people that are not there. Two days ago, I explained to my mother how the translation program I was writing would greatly help me understand exactly what all this Aridan text I've been attempting to decipher actually means. My mother has been dead for 16 years. She was never actually interested in science to begin with. I'm unsure if I'm quite to the point of no return, but my stubbornness, which I got from her in the first place, will keep me here putting up with her until I find exactly where the vault is, or until I drive myself so far off the edge I do not remember why I was doing this in the first place. 
This is exciting. I think I might strip naked and run around to celebrate, but I'll, I'll do it during the dim cycle, for fear of prying eyes. Before overloading and melting four of my computer's 13 qubit operators, my program was able to decipher quite a bit more than I had been able to understand before. It will take a few days to fix, but I was able to find many repeated instances of an event that takes place every 200 years. It's repeated many times with a symbol that looks not unlike a circle with an upside-down V in it. It's possible that this is the vault. And something about the vault happens every 200 years. Tonight, for dinner, I will have eggs. Day 493. Doll Corporation just shut down their mining operations here on Pandora. I think they are insane. Or that is, whoever is making the decision is insane. Iridium mining on this planet has been hugely lucrative for Doll and amazing. has funded my project. Oh, a flesh wound. It's been especially profitable given how low their labor costs are. I wonder what Doll will do with all the unpaid convicts they've been using to work their mines. I wonder if any of them will be my friend. What? Why are you always so jealous of me getting new friends? I'm turning you off. Hmm. So what would... Uh, obviously it's just... As far as we can say is that that's just explaining how the vault rules work every 200 years, but also, hey, she's losing her mind from just the sheer study of the, the vault. Not, not just that. She's pretty much alone on this planet. Yeah, and like her entire search and party team is dead. Yeah, just from the the other set of journals that we the, that we read, like she was talking about, like how hey, this chair is pretty comfy. It's, but you know, some people take like I said last time, people take it as like, ha, that's a funny joke. But no, it's it can. It's, it's actually just kind of that serious. The more you realize, like the more you listen, the more you read, just how far gone she's going down. Yeah, you mm -hmm. you think like all of a sudden it's like. Wow, I got all the things that my friends were keeping, and then you find out like they're all gone, and you lose all interaction. And it's just like shit. <laughs> you have to figure out how to cope with, you know, oh, damn. what you've what you've seen on top of the loneliness. I think our only person that's not Resident Evil affluent is you, Marley. Me. Correct. I I've watched someone play Village and that's just about it. Someone's tried to make me watch the Mila Jokovic movies, and I was like, nah, fam, I'm fucking good. Okay, but I like you... having my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go that far unless you play the originals. Um So do you know Ada Wan then? Isn't that a Dead by Daylight character? <laughs> oh. God, the silence just fucking kills me. No, I don't know who Daniel Wong is. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, all, all Arsenal reboots. I mean, that had as much energy as me asking who Heather Mason is and saying, Is that Jeff White Daylight character? I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Who's Ash Williams? Is that Jeff White Daylight character? Okay. When you think of a spy, you think James Bond, right? Please tell me you know who James Bond is. Wait, who is James Bond? I thought we were oh. just talking about Sean Connery. I mean, hell, we don't even we don't really talk about movies that often, but I've I've probably got the biggest foot into the uh, a biggest uh, dip into the the movie industry is uh, out of all of us, uh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> like I can tell you right now, Disney is really really fucking up with the remakes. I don't know why they're doing this, but here we are. I mean, did you hear that they're coming out with Peter Pan and Wendy? Again? For the seventh time? Yeah. Did you hear they're coming out with Pinocchio? They're remaking... They're remaking a movie that literally just came out animated, not but a couple of years ago, and I can't for the life of me remember which one it was. Um... Moana. Oh yes, yeah, that, that's you. what it was, Moana. I like, why? But why, though? Alright, here we go. Topic time, let's go. Um, oh, no. Oversaturation of specific genres or... or uh, topics. Oversaturation? Yes. What is the biggest example of oversaturation in media that you've seen recently? I, I will like start. I feel like the overimplication of meta humor that has to be imperative in every single adult sitcom. Oh, you mean like Big Bang Theory? 
not Big Bang Theory. I'm talking like Rick and Morty levels of meta humor. Well, when you say okay, when when you say meta humor, like what what's your what's your definition the, of that? The mockery of an entire genre's existence. Oh, like, so you mean like pointing the finger at yourself and laughing? Kind of yes. Way. Okay. And even then, like it's shaped into the worst fucking crude humor that is not even funny. You're just you're just saying it for the fact of saying it. I feel like the the easiest thing to do that with uh, in the movie industry would be anything of like superhero kind of a genre, and you could just easily do it with Superman because it's Superman. Oh, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's already been done in most of the series. Probably I mean, just this league series. As long as you don't like make a blatant point that it's like every sixty seconds that you have to make a meta punchline. Mm. And I think it'd be fine. Like, it's okay making them every so often, but when it's like, it's your entire lifeline, why? This is totally not targeted at a very specific show. Well, I'm not even sure what show, what show that would even be. Velma. See you later. Oh. oh. Fuck. See, I, I can't say anything because I've never <laughs> watched Velma. I just know it's bad. <laughs> 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 It's worse than bad. So oh I'll give you God. I'll give you a couple examples, Hunter. So who okay, well first off, who's your favorite character in the, the mystery machine crew? Uh, well that's a hard that's a hard one there, bud. Okay. <laughs> I like I love all of them, like okay, equally so in their I own have, rights. Okay, I have to exclude one for you because he doesn't appear in the show at all. Scooby Doo. You mean Scooby? The yeah. one who gave the whole series its name? <laughs> yes. Who of the humans? Um, I, unfortunately, it's Velma, because I always, like, related to Velma. Boy, I hope you a... like Minnie Callie, then. No, no, I don't. Or how do you pronounce her name? I don't know. Mindy Kaling. Kaling, okay. I just, I know I ended up looking, I, uh... I was actually writing uh, in town with a friend of mine. We had just gone see the D&D movie. Uh, good movie, by the way. Not sponsored. Mm -hmm. it's really good. Oh, um, well, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Not um, sponsored. Looking for sponsors. <laughs> it is <blood. laughs> um, But we were talking about... He doesn't uh, read this podcast. <laughs> But we were talking about the Velma series, and like, Luke, he was like, I don't know, I said, I don't know who wrote it, but my god, it's terrible. And he's like, well, hang on, let me look it up. And he ended up looking up the the person who wrote it, and he's like, oh, well, no wonder it's bad. She voice acts her own character. Yeah, and she deliberately has this line of like, I'm lame and nobody likes me. Yeah, I wonder why. Uh, yeah. yeah, I wonder why. Uh, the only funny thing that came out of it is the... Um, she gets hit by this police car because she says like a bunch of stupid things, and she like gets up and all her teeth like and all that shit. That's the one punchline that everyone loves. Yes, and I I I posted this on my uh, DeviantArt page because I was still laughing so hard about it. Is that she uh, she gets knocked over by the car, and um, then it cuts to this scene from Madagascar with the penguins on. They stole this jeep, uh, and. One of the penguin goes, is she dead? And then you see Velma get up, and then Skipper's like, no, and then just revs the truck forward. <laughs> but yeah, there's a bunch, there's a bunch of fun stuff that uh, that you can do with voice acting. Probably the one thing that, uh, I mean, well, the one thing that me and Hunter can talk about easily is the uh, the voice actors from uh, TF2 they are have been starting to come out of the woodworks. Oh my god. They're amazing. I love seeing all the YouTube videos that the sniper puts out. Like the hunt the, for the, the hunt sandwich. For sandwich. That's my so fucking wonderful. favorite. Like a cat. I feel like they must be relaxed when they're not playing such dramatic characters. I love it when that kind of stuff happens. Like I know Overwatch was doing it first with the uh, their voice actors being on panels and reading their lines, but when it's when you never when you haven't seen the TF2 actors in forever and they start doing it. Yep. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it's wonderful. Let's see. It's mainly like the the sniper, the heavy, and the scout. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um. They've gotten Saxton Hale recently out of the woodworks, which uh, is. Oh, they got Saxton. God. Yes, they got they they got JB Blanc out. Which um, who else did they they had? Okay, the 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 stream that they had on not too long ago, it was. 
Sniper, Administrator, Saxton, Spy and Pyro, Heavy and Demo Man. Oh, Robert, Robin Abkin Downs, uh, the the, uh, the medic. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. They start out with like the usual stuff, and then they they do a little bit of Q and A, and then they do uh, line readings like the the Overwatch cast did, which mm. <laughs> it's kind of funny to think about. Overwatch is like in its grave right now, and then TF2 has never been more alive. And people never left it. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, they did a... the usual stuff, and then they went on to reading some of the the comics as their characters. Oh. Nice. Uh, yeah, the one thing I um... wish they did is that they were tra did uh, some of the other stuff that the, the Overwatch cast did, which is read lines of the other characters as their characters. Um, one of the funniest things that they did do is that they they, uh, they offered a question to uh, Heavy, and it was, would you save Sasha, his minigun, or would you save he uh, Medic? Heavy goes, that is, that is, and by Heavy voice, it's going to be awful. That is <laughs> their fish choice. Don't make me choose. And then... Medic in the background goes, you better answer the fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a great time of a stream. I absolutely love like every second of it. And I'm not even that big on like playing TF2. I just love the the, the voice actors. I can't say anything. I adore TF2. I think I have like over a thousand hours in it. <laughs> uh, I think I only have maybe two games over that many hours. One of them is Champions Online. Thank you. Oh, I know. One of them. <laughs> that's that's one of mine too, to be honest. I think I've surpassed my champions online record. Uh, is it, probably. Is it Final Fantasy? Yes, it's double that time. Like I'm pretty yeah. sure my maximum time in champions is like three thousand seven hundred and fifty nine hours. My current time in Final Fantasy is fuck. Let's see. Let's, let's get let's get the okay. accurate numbers here. Okay. okay. Look it up. Okay. Uh, so, Champions, uh, 3,196.2 hours. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy XIV, 11,388.3. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you see where my priorities lie. See, Champions Online, I have 1,525 hours in... Um... Team Fortress, I have 1,289 hours in. And uh, Final Fantasy XIV is 1,588. <laughs> uh, I need to take a look at my sniper rifles. Which I can bet you I will be doing the same exact thing when I... Uh, when I play my... <laughs> when I possibly play Zero. <laughs> Good old Zero that we already knew you were going to play anyway. It wasn't even a question. I mean, Zero is a good character. Okay, to be fair, you did ask earlier, like, unless anyone else wants to play Zero, implying, move out of the way, I want to fucking play Zero. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to hold that against you until the end of time. At least until we play it. Yes. Right, in the comments below, what's your worst sh showing of meta humor that you've seen? It's just all going to say Belmont. <laughs> <laughs>